So if you can get someone up to 80% of your ability in these different disciplines, Mike, we can live with that, okay? So you have to go find someone that really sees the vision, that knows what the hell you're doing. That way you can get them, develop them, and like move on. Came out from the bottom, going straight up to the top. To the top. Y'all niggas sleeping, yeah, he punching in the clock. And they call him Mike Van by the Lambo at the lot. And he on his guard, and, and it never Guys, happens. what up? Welcome back. Hey, listen, a couple days ago, we were talking about the journey of the entrepreneur. Okay, you guys already know what it is. Number one, let's say it again. You have to what? You have to have the skills to pay the bills. What I say? Ain't nobody paying for broke, or excuse me, ain't nobody paying for average. It's just not gonna happen. You have to have the skills to say uh, to pay the bills. Number two, you have to what? You have to start up. Get your ass up, get your ass out, go go kill it, bring it back to the crib, okay? We already know that. The, uh, the next thing we talked about, step number three, okay, it's called scaling up. Adding systems, adding uh, layers, adding people, all right? So how do you scale up? Uh, if you are starting a business, and you are, if you wanna make money on the internet, and if you're not doing it now, you will after this training. You're a bad motherfucker. Male, female, doesn't matter. You a, you a, you a bad you know what, okay? Guarantee it. Guarantee you got more ambition than most people you know. I guarantee that you're hard, harder working than most people you know, if not everybody. I guarantee you want more for yourself and your family, I promise you. Some of you guys have this big purpose, retire your parents, okay, take your kids, get them through college. You guys have these big dreams, big ambitions, guarantee it. I'm saying that you are a special person very special person, very dynamic. Okay, you probably got a real good dress attire and all that good stuff. So if you are that amazing, what is the next best thing you can do to scale up? If you're if you're the shit, what the hell could you possibly do to scale up? You need to recreate yourself. I'm gonna say it again, I, I just gave you the million dollar bar. You need to recreate yourself. How do you recreate yourself? You recruit a person that like moves like you, that's positive like you, that's ambitious like you, that cares about people like you, that works hard and wants to go to the next like you, that has a big why, big purpose, just like you. You wanna find that person that you can literally mentor and bring in to be like your little bro, or your little sis, or your little homie. Let me just make it very clear. I got 67 people on payroll right now, this moment, today. Just pay their ass a few days ago. I got 67 of them. What if all 67 of them were on my level? They had my speed. They had my efficiency, they had my smarts, they had my creativity, they had my customer service skills, my operations, my ability to speak. What if all 67 of my people were that good? What would happen for my company? Shit, I won't even talk to y'all right now. I'd be like chilling, I'd be, I'd be sipping pina coladas in damn Hawaii because my job's done, it's over. But until I do that, you know, I'm gonna keep on hustling, okay? So we know what would happen to my company. It, it would go from a $25 million company to a $250 million company, just like that. Okay, why? because I am more high level than the people in my organization. I got better customer service skills than my, my customer service people. I can sell better than my sales people. I can build, I can do better marketing than my marketing people. So you start, you have to become great and you have to become all that so that you can attract that. If you're lazy, you're not putting in the work, you're not serious about you know putting into your craft, you're never gonna find talent. Okay, we got a guy on our team that was the number one sales rep out of 7,000. He just joined our team, this dude's balling, killing it. Best sales guy you'll meet. One, one person said, I'm like, how'd you find that guy? Why, why does he want to work with you? I'm like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? You know how good I am? Because my roof is so damn high, I can contain a guy like that. But two, three years ago, when I wasn't on the level, this guy, would, there, there's no way. He'd be too good for our company. You understand? So you have to put, you have to raise the roof. Here's the bar, you raise it. And then you find the talent and you start mentoring them. You start recreating yourself, okay? Last thing I'm gonna tell you, the magic number is 80%. I heard this from, from a billionaire called Tillman Fertitta, biggest restaurateur on the planet. Tillman says this, he says, the magic number is 80%. It's gonna be very hard to find someone with your creativity, your genius, your sales ability, your people skills, it's gonna be very hard. So if you can get someone up to 80% of your ability in these different disciplines, Mike, we can live with that, okay? So you have to go find someone that really sees the vision, that knows what the hell you're doing. That way you can get them, develop them, and like move on. No one saw it, no one believed it. I had to believe in it first. Now that I'm making millions of dollars and I'm successful, I got all these fucking people from corporate, from high school, from back in the day, banging on my damn door for what? For a job. When they could have been a fucking founder, they would have got on board in the early stages. I'm dropping some heavy duty shit right now, man. Ladies and gentlemen, pick it up. I'll see you at the top. Peace. Guys, what up? It's your boy, Mike Barron. Thank you for checking out the YouTube channel. Truly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you forget, I'm gonna come to this computer right now and I'm gonna close you my damn self. Let's go. I'll see you at the top, y'all.